What is the democracy that we want to have and should have when we get to 2032? I think as we, you know, look on our sixth grade class who's going to be voting in 2032, we have to figure out how to meet our next generation of voters where they are and how to get them to care about the issues. We're planting the seeds, but watering that and making it grow over the next few years is something that will be hugely critical to the future of our democracy. When you're talking about philanthropy, business, government, the people that can move within those circles and bring those communities together are the ones that will be successful and where I think we'll be in 2032 is many of you in this audience will be in a position of influence and power to be that connective tissue. I'm thrilled to be back at SAS because I think that SAS is a place that really helps you as a young person to figure out what it is you care about in very meaningful ways. We have to figure out how we can reward people who are willing to make changes and lean into the discomfort because I think systems change is hard. My push to everybody in this room looking ahead to 2032 and I'd say especially to the, to the students that I see here is push your school, push your educators, push your colleges to give you viewpoint diversity and to teach you how to think.